Hello everyone, I'm Rashmi Dandari and today I've got my student Shruti. Shruti is from his Computer Science Bass 2024 and she has cleared SAP Labs. Um, so and this is a program scholar at SAP where they get to do a M.Tech with Bits Pilani. So Shruti, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so can you tell uh, what was the eligibility criteria? Yeah, eligibility was 70% and above. Yes. And uh, uh, only in engineering. Alright. Uh, no cutoff for 10th and 12th. Uh. So yeah, anybody with greater than 70% can. Good, right. And what was your percentage here, Shruti? Uh, mine was, uh, in engineering it was 9.16. Okay. So the previous one also had 9. So you know, whatever they say, 7 um, CGPA, but still all the time the selections are always someone who's got 8 and 9. Alright, this is, this is for the juniors. Why I am telling this is for the juniors? Because you still have time to make it up. So you are what, one of the toppers in the class? Uh, yeah, I am. Alright, <laughs> okay, <laughs> obviously. And then, uh, so the, the, the rest, uh, so what were the rounds? Uh, so yeah, first was online assessment. Mm -hmm. uh, it consisted of two coding questions. Mm -hmm. So the first one was, uh, given an array, you mm -hmm. have to sort it. And mm -hmm. then uh, print the alternate elements in the array, sorted array. So that was the first question. Mm -hmm. And the second question was, given a string with the, uh, all the characters, you have to count the invalid characters, number of invalid characters and print it. Yeah, so, that's so how tough was it? The first one uh, and the second both one? Both are easy. Easy? Yes. It's not easy because then more people would have cleared. How many cleared the first round? Uh, around 14. Uh, 14. So four, one exactly. four. So 14 cleared, that means it was tough. Alright? Mm -hmm. Because we have got uh, uh, close to around uh, 300 plus students in the IT. IT itself, CS and IS put together and um, and then if only 14 are clearing the first round, it is tough even though Shruti is telling it is not tough, just imagine only 14 people have cleared the first round, not only select, just the first round, right? So the first yeah, round we was had an online form mm. to fill before mm. the assessment, coding huh. assessment. So we had to fill in the project details and the certificates what we earned. Huh. So everything had to be filled. Huh. So I think they also considered that. Uh, yeah, definitely they will yeah. consider that, even yes, that's an elimination. Coding, yeah. Yeah, so naturally, but then it looks like filling a form, so what's so great, but yes, people don't fill it properly or they don't fill it, fill it ad adequately because you, you are screened based on your filling, it's just like a resume of yours, right, you're writing about your project and all that and you're shortlisted based on that as well as your coding. So even though it looks easy for someone who's got a 9C GPA, uh, so trust me, I'm sure it's not easy for the average kid. So please work hard. This is for those who are still in the first year and the second year. Please start preparing for your placements right now because you don't get a 9 immediately, 9 CGP immediately in the final year. You would have got a very good percentile all throughout, right, to maintain this aggregate. So please study well, score well and do your competitive coding. So did you do any competitive coding for this? Uh, yes, yeah. I was uh, solving lead code questions. Lead code, yeah. alright. I started with easy level and then uh, switched to medium and half. Okay, so okay. So lead code is good? Lead code is good. So even so a first year can start yeah, off working with lead code, yeah. with the easy level. Yeah. So can you tell a little bit about that, I mean how do they go about Because see many times first years and all they are in their own world, nobody is trying any of it. Right. So first, uh, first I would suggest is uh, start with the programming basics, like uh, you have uh, many YouTube channels, like there is Kunal Kushwaha. So, uh, Everyone YouTube keeps telling channel. about this, Kunal Kushwaha. Yeah. Okay. So and I this is not paid, Okay. we are just telling this because this is helpful to the students, alright? Yeah, I started with his channel itself, uh -huh. so right from the basics to advanced level, so he has everything coming. Uh -huh. So I started with Java. So I am like continued with Java itself. So there All is right. only uh, it's only necessary to know only one program. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And so you and knew Java well. Yeah. So you can do either Java, which other language? Uh, Python. So Python. So I mentioned it in my resume. All right. Okay. And then C also. C I am familiar. But, but then, then no anyone. Yeah. yeah. So you can yeah. do C, uh, uh, Python, Java. Python, Java, and C plus plus. And C plus plus. But so I would suggest is Java and C plus plus because we have to select uh, object oriented program. I'm right. going for procedural like C. Oh, good. Okay. All right. All right. So then uh, you would say that lead code and then anything else and Kunal Kushwaha. Uh, and uh, Kunal Kushwaha and there is a YouTube channel called Apna College. So Apna College. Yeah. For basics, it's perfect. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we could go for lead code questions. All right. So basics is uh, that Apna College then go to lead code. Yeah. Okay. And then Kunal Kushwaha, you can use it anytime. Anytime. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And then, all right. So then after this, what else? And what about Hacker Earth and Hacker Rank? Uh, I have not used it. I went directly for the course. Okay, but then Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, CodeShare, all uh, these are also yeah, platforms. So students, please use this because you don't get to um, uh, um, you know solve all this just on your own. If you keep practicing every day, then you know you are competent enough to clear all of this, and then it looks very easy. 
Okay. Then what was the next? Next was uh, technical uh, round mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So uh, he started with uh, asking self introduction and then followed by puzzle. Mm -hmm. So puzzle was like given a round cake. So mm -hmm. we had to uh, cut it three times mm -hmm. and make exact eight pieces of cake. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, cutting uh, uh, in the plus mark, mm -hmm. so horizontally and vertically, and we get four equal pieces. Mm -hmm. Keep it one above the other and mm -hmm. cut it vertically. Oh wow. So how did you know about it? Who taught teaches you all this? Uh, no, like he had given me time to uh, yeah. think for it. Yeah. yeah. Around two minutes. Uh -huh. So yeah. But then uh, uh, do you where do you get to solve such questions? Uh, there are questions on Geeks for Geeks platform. Okay. So uh, similar questions. All and right. we have YouTube channels like Apna College has those uh, those sort of questions. Alright. Okay. Similar questions. Alright. Then yeah. what else? Uh, so he started with puzzle and after that he uh, jumped into operating system questions. So mm -hmm. he asked me what are the functions of operating system and why do you require operating mm -hmm. system in basics. And then uh, he jumped on to linked list implementation. Mm -hmm. So he asked me what is linked list and um, he asked me to share my screen and uh, type the linked list uh, uh, implementation code and mm -hmm. uh, along with that explanation. Mm -hmm. So after that uh, he asked me about exceptions and errors in programming. Mm -hmm. So you do programming and what, what kind of errors you get while doing it and how do you solve it. Okay. Okay. All, all those questions. And um, uh, yeah. Uh, then yeah, about I had mentioned about Python in my uh, resume. So he asked about he jumped onto Python. So he asked me what is the difference between statically typed and dynamically typed uh, mm -hmm. programming language. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this was all about uh, uh, first round and it went awesome. around 20, 25 minutes. All right. Yeah, and next was second technical round. Uh -huh. So that was more like a discussion uh -huh. uh, than uh, testing our coding skills or uh, like. Uh, how practically we can implement it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we focus more on projects and internships. Mm -hmm. So I had done an internship uh, regarding same thing like ERPs, building mm -hmm. simplified ERPs for SMEs, small and medium scale enterprises. Where did you do this? Uh, here itself, Affinity. We had uh, okay. a senior, uh -huh. uh, Shobit Manu. So yeah, he uh, had a startup, Affinity. So I had worked So worked there. So yeah. that helped you? That helped. Oh, good. Okay, uh -huh. so that that was the thing, and uh, uh, two projects. So uh, those were like real time projects. Uh -huh. So one is Swap Zone. Swap Zone is a college OLX for Sayad. All right. Okay, so I had uh, uh, done it, and then I shared APK files with all Sayad. Like okay. now it's circulating. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I told about it, and he was happy oh. uh, listening that. And um, yeah, and uh, about projects and internship, he focused much. He asked okay. many questions like, how did you implement it? Tech stack. Uh -huh. What are the tech stack uh, uh, you used, and uh, what are the challenges you face uh -huh. while building the project? Actually. All right. Okay. And, uh, and so, how many projects I, have you done? Uh, I did around five to six mini projects, but then I had uh, mentioned about three projects. Okay, but you had done five to six. Yeah. All right, that's good because many times students don't even do a proper decent project in the th um, even up to the second year. So third year it's a mad rush, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's very stressful I guess in the third year if you don't okay. do a project. Huh. Okay. I would suggest is uh, do some uh, project which has, which has some real end users. Mm. Like it should have some real time application than simply doing whatever is already there. Yes. Like, just copying from the yeah. 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 So better than that, uh, do something which you could also relate. Alright, yes. Uh, so what was your project uh, about? Uh, yeah, it was like a college OLX. Oh, that you said? Uh, yeah, or, and that thing. Yes. And the second one is college connect website. It's uh -huh. like social media, like Instagram or LinkedIn, uh -huh. plus classroom environment. Alright. Where people could uh, share all their resources, yes. post about the events going on in the college. Yeah, so that's a very important thing that Shruti said that whenever you do a project, there should be a user. If there is no use of a project and it's just something, you know, you bind it and you just give it as a report, then what's the use? Okay. So every time a project has to be used by somebody, so please, you know, let us not waste resources. So much of time, energy uh, is go, goes into, you know, making a project. So please make a project which someone can use. So just don't do a pro project for the sake of doing it. So good. Yeah. Then after that? After that, he asked about data structure real-time application. Uh -huh. uh, he, he didn't want the exact code or whatever is in the textbook. Okay. Like real-time applications, uh -huh. where do you use it? Uh -huh. So uh, he asked about stacks, queues, like everything, all the possible data structures, uh, applications. Uh -huh. So I told about uh, in web browsers, we have forward and backward button. Uh -huh. So that is implemented using stacks and link list uh -huh. and uh, yeah and undo redo operations that is also using stacks. 
So I'm the hash maps in database management system. So uh -huh. we have also a project, we have an academic project we need to do. So yeah, in that uh, hash maps is like uh, storing key and value pairs. So key will be our primary key and all the other will be the values. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, uh, so all the real time applications. And then he uh, started discussing about new technologies like AI and cloud. What is my opinion about it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, he asked me, uh, he, he was talking about AI and he told me like people are losing their jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you, like what do you feel about it? So I told him that new roles are coming because of uh, these new technologies like we have prompt engineering and we have many other tech roles. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so and I also told that uh, um, the machine learning model will not be equal to human brain at all because mm -hmm. uh, I, I recently I had seen one video about it uh, where um, uh, a person hacks the chat GPT mm -hmm. by telling one his grandma's story. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, she was an uh, ex-Microsoft officer and then uh, uh, she was working there, then she died, all this. Uh, he made made up some story and then asked ChatGPT to give the uh, Microsoft license idea. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so I did give, gave it. So uh, this I had seen it and uh, so it's like no few, uh, no human brain can be replaced by a machine learning model. Mm. So yeah, I, I told it. Uh, yeah. I told that. And because she had a life example, right? So otherwise people will say, no, human brains are much more whatever, some small this thing. But here, see, look at it back by example, that too, that has happened, right? Yeah. So that, that that's good. So yeah. that is how you answer. Very nice. Okay. Huh? Yeah. So I had explained about all huh. these things. Then he uh, uh, told me about SAP, like mm. we, uh, they have so many domains and where do you want to mm. uh, work uh, and yeah, all those things. And then uh, he asked me like whether you have any questions. So I asked him tips and feedback, uh, not feedback, tips if, I, if I'm joining uh, SAP. Uh, what new technology should I prepare and what, what are the tips? That's a very good question because usually people will ask, tell me a day in your life, tell me how is it working here. So this is all very cliched, almost everyone is asking the same question. But here she is asking something even uh, which is actually going to help her also and also shows her curiosity about joining the company and preparing for it before she joins. So that's a very good question. I'm sure uh, that's very nice. So what do you tell, what do you need to prepare uh, on? Yeah. Uh, told me about time management because since this is an MTech program plus uh, job, huh. so yeah, he told me uh, he introduced himself first and huh. then yeah, he told how uh, will be the uh, growth in SAP and huh. uh, yeah, uh, time management is very important. Awesome. But he didn't tell you what skills uh, and all nothing because more or less you are you know sorted because you are good in your academics, you are doing what is required. So, but time management is something which maybe people are able to find, uh, they do find it difficult because in this program you are doing an MTech and you are also working and uh, so combining the two could be a challenge. Alright. And then, then uh, after that? Yeah, after that HR. Uh -huh. So, uh, we were around five people for HR and uh -huh. uh, then only two came. Alright. So, yeah, HR, uh, HR went around 40 to 45 minutes. That's a long time. Yeah. And okay. they had already mentioned it. It's not a typical HR round. You have to be prepared for it. Uh, like about the company, actually they didn't ask much about the company, they they were asking more situation based questions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. first she asked me to introduce myself mm -hmm. and uh, actually out of excitement I, uh, my introduction went really long. Mm -hmm. So around uh, uh, 5 to 7 minutes. Oh my god, that's really long. You don't yeah. need, introduction is not more than a minute, okay. It's, it's almost like one minute, uh, one minute correct. plus one and a half minutes, yeah. that's it. So she gave me a feedback like uh, it should uh, like yeah why did you uh, go so long like uh, before me asking everything you only told things yeah. so I was like uh, sorry no, out yeah. of excitement I told things. okay and then uh, she said okay and then uh, she asked me some situation based questions like oh. since this is an tech program with the job so how do you manage your studies and job together mm -hmm. and uh, she gave me a situation like you have exams and you have one project you are working on a project so um, now you have to complete that project you have leaves for exam whether you take the leave or like what will be your priority mm -hmm. so i told uh, since i'm getting consistent marks uh, in study so exams will not be a problem my work will be my first priority wow so and see yeah, she's backed it up with her uh, track record it's not that she's just 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 telling her marks, right, your consistency in marks. 
I'm sure in 10th and 12th also you would have scored well. Mm -hmm. And then back by engineering, 9th CGPA, what is your 10th and 12th? Uh, 10th was 97 and mm -hmm. 12th was 96. Yeah, so when you come with that track record, people know that these people are good in academics. And when she says that I will manage my academics any which way and that is a proof Proof is her marks itself. So, you know, students, please keep this in mind. Or, you know, it's not about just telling, you know, politically right answers. It is also back, backing it up with facts and figures. Yes, very nice. Uh -huh. And then uh, she asked me about uh, team conflicts. Uh -huh. Like, if you're working in a team and uh, somebody don't like your idea and you uh -huh. don't like their uh -huh. idea, how will you convince? Okay. So, uh, and she also told about if manager doesn't like your idea, Mm. What will you do? So I uh, told her that I'll try to convince them in uh, simple words. Like I'll explain it in simple manner. Okay. And in case if they, uh, if the manager doesn't agree, that means he's my senior. So I have some flaw in my idea. So I'll uh, reanalyze my uh, idea. I'll reframe it and then try to explain. It. Wonderful. How nice, how refreshingly different because many times I think youngsters, as youngsters we think we are right and you know that somewhere there they are not understanding but here you give, uh, you, you, are, you, are, you, you understand that maybe you need to work on yourself which is always very right, uh, correct, you know always you know look into what you can change yourself, you, you can't change the external but you can always change yourself and here you are reporting to a manager who is already experienced and seasoned so you have to value their uh, uh, the, the best suggestions, very nice, very nice. Uh, such situation based questions and no wonder people were rejected out of the five three were eliminated just in the HR yeah. so students don't take the HR round not only of this company of any company light because it's not only about your technical it's also about your overall personality so you know when you come into a team and you're going to work in a team they want to gauge what of what sort of a person you are and see just imagine you do everything right the coding right and everything right and just imagine being thrown in the HR round <laughs> right yeah yeah, and this was about HR. Huh? So that, that's it. All that's right. It. But, but do you know what, Shruti? I actually uh, what I found is when I when you came to me in the beginning, you you were that very soft spoken sort of a person. But then yes, you are soft spoken. But then you can see a very intelligent brain behind. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed. Uh, and uh, congratulations, Shruti. Thank you. And uh, any tips for the juniors? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I could uh, suggest them to start your preparation early. Yes. So I started my preparation early, and uh, we should never keep. What is early now? Extreme. Early in the sense, uh, right from second year. So, so uh, but I would put in one more thing. Please start off in the first year. See here, here she is coming with the uh, this thing of ninth, uh, tenth, uh, ten, um, tenth standard, twelfth standard, all ninety ninety. Most of the students who enter maybe seventy or eighty. So he, she is starting in the second year. Even though she is telling the second year academics, I'm sure you were consistent. Uh, yes. so, so your academics is what, what they're asking. Anyway, every company is asking something from your academics itself. Yeah. It's not that they're asking something out, right? So when you are scoring consistently. And doing your academics well, on top of that you have an internship and you have a good project, naturally you are sorted. Right. Yes, very nice. Huh? So yeah, first year they can go for web development, app development, some sort of that. So they can work on their projects, mm -hmm. like they can come up with some idea where they could implement it later. Mm -hmm. And they could, they can start with programming as well. Uh, in second year, uh, in third semester we have subjects like data structure, like important subjects starts from there. Mm -hmm. So in that, at that time they can focus more on uh, data structures, programming. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so basically academics and good projects and internship yes. and uh, all these are application of what you have studied. So it all revolves around your academics and were you there in some extracurricular activities? I think your project and internship itself would have given yeah. you quite a... Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I was a, a member in IEEE. Okay, IEEE. IEEE. And yeah. IEEE. IEEE, alright. Yeah. So uh, there I was a publication and report committee head. Wow. Mm. Uh, and I was a member of NSS. Oh, even NSS. So what did you do in NSS? Uh, we had uh, uh, community, uh, as a community we were going to schools like uh, to paint uh, the walls of schools and then we had camps or uh, camps had been organized. Okay, good. Such so all these extracurricular activities, when you were talking about, tell me about yourself, did you put all these things? Uh, uh, I, had, I just had mentioned it. Uh, mentioned, yeah, that's enough. And your resume, did you mention anywhere? Yeah. Yes. So all these extracurricular things do help you. And uh, I think that's about it. Anything to add, Shruti? Uh, that's that's it. it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's bye from both of us till we meet again.